Hey friends, welcome back to another extreme and deep clean with me of my house. Click the thumbs up if you're ready for some extreme cleaning motivation today. I still need to go in and do some serious spring cleaning of the bedrooms and bathrooms, but I felt like I needed to do a general clean with me first and then move to the spring cleaning motivation second. So today I will just be cleaning my bathroom and cleaning my bedroom. So get ready to clean with me. Let me know down in the comments what you're gonna be cleaning along with me today. If you're new here, my name is Katie Satilli and I'm so glad that you stopped by. Please consider hitting that red subscribe button. I post videos twice a week, every Sunday and Wednesday, so you can look forward to those days. And I usually post videos on cleaning, organization, vlogs, or just whatever I'm kind of in the mood for. So make sure you stick around. Give me a thumbs up on this video if you like this kind of content or you see anything that you like in it and you wanna see more of it. I'm just gonna be filling up my diffuser with some essential oils. My husband has had the flu, so I did not wanna get it, so I've been diffusing this On Guard blend <laughs> so much this past week. I just have it on like full force every single day and night. Um, I do not wanna get whatever it was that he got because it was nasty, so anyways. That's what I was doing there and then now I'm going to start to attack the bed with all of the laundry and we washed these sheets and blankets um, again just because Sean was sick we wanted to make sure everything got like a good thorough cleaning and now I'm just going to put my shoes away and then we'll just move on to doing some laundry. As a family of five, it has become very apparent that keeping up with laundry is so difficult. As soon as I feel like I catch up, boom, I have another pile. And I don't know, I don't know how to get it under control. I have always been the one to say like a load a day keeps the chaos away. And sometimes I don't even feel like a load a day keeps the chaos away anymore in my house. <laughs> Now that I've got everything hung up on hangers, I'm just gonna go in and start putting everything away in my kids room. If you haven't seen my kids room declutter and organization with the Dollar Tree bins, I'll go ahead and link that here. I also have a KonMari that I did on my kids room, so I'll link that as well. 
Um, lots of fun organizing my kids' room. They are um, five years old, almost four years old, and a 10 month old. And they're all in one room and we just, I don't know, we make it work. So if you wanna see how we make it work, go ahead and click on the videos that I have linked in the description box about that. tell you guys that there is a giveaway going on over on my Instagram and if you want to be entered to win just head on over there I'll make sure and have my Instagram handle below it's just katie.satilli basically it's just a $500 giveaway that I'm doing with some of my other sweet friends the giveaway ends April 12th so I'd love to have you go check that out over on Instagram I'm gonna be moving on to cleaning our bedspread, which is actually a quilt. We got it semi recently from Target and we have been loving it. It's definitely lightweight, which we decided would be best for where we live because basically any comforter we've ever had lives at the bottom of our bed, <laughs> like at the bottom, like the foot of the bed is what I'm trying to say because it's just not that cold here for the most part. We live in Southern California, so it's pretty warm. Anyways, I just go in with my Gain fabric softener and my Gain laundry detergent, and then I also put some bleach in there, just because the whole quilt is white, and I like to keep everything like bright white if I can. So yeah, that's kind of how we're gonna be cleaning the bedspread today. And then this is my Method all-purpose spray in the scent lime and sea salt which is absolutely one of my favorite of all time they have the yummiest smelling scents it makes cleaning 20 times more fun i swear it's like those little things that make me like okay i'll just clean As you can see there, my daughter Fiona, who is five, she just got home from school, so she came upstairs and kind of just hung out with me. I know I'm pulling her to the side. <laughs> it's so funny. Sometimes I'm like, what am I doing? <laughs> what is life? I'm like filming myself cleaning when my daughter comes home from school. <laughs> Anyways, that's beside the point. She came home and kind of hung out with me for a while, which I loved. I love just like spending time with my kids and um, I think it's cool to kind of spend time even while we're doing just like normal tasks each day because you know it's not about like what you're doing it's about just spending that time together so sometimes my kiddos come and hang out with me while I'm cleaning which is awesome and I love that um, so here I'm just going in with some Lysol toilet scrubber cleaner what am I saying and then <laughs> I'm going to put in that barkeeper's friend in the bottom of my shower, which I don't know. The bottom of my shower was pretty bad this time. I didn't really fully show it, but it was pretty bad. Um, this whole bathroom like really needed to be cleaned, 
really, really, really bad. And then even at the end, I'm gonna be mopping this bathroom and it was just awful, like awful, awful, awful. So hopefully I'm gonna be keeping up more with cleaning because I am doing more cleaning videos. So hopefully it will help me to not let things get so nasty. But anyways, so for now, I'm just gonna be wiping down the toilet with that Clorox spray, which I actually just ran out of. So I'm gonna probably have to order some more of that. I like having one bleach bottle on hand just for like the toilet. I do not like using like all natural stuff on my toilet because let's be honest, those things need to get like seriously cleaned hardcore. gonna be getting my mop ready this is my o cedar mop if you guys have been watching my most recent videos I have been mopping every single time somebody asked me like do you mop every day I'm like no I definitely do not but ever since I got this thing I have been mopping in every single one of my cleaning videos but it's also just because like I haven't mopped upstairs yet in my like since I got this mop so you know it needs to be done so this is the O Cedar mop. I'll have it linked in the description box below. It's awesome. I love it. Yes, it does take up some space as far as like um, storing it, which we don't have a lot of space. So I just keep mine in the garage and that's totally fine for us. Um, but yeah, one little thing that I realized when I was cleaning in my bathroom today is I can use this mop to clean the baseboards. And I don't know, you'll see me do it here in a minute. So I'll show you. And also one thing I did want to mention is that I went in with the Mrs. Myers all-purpose cleaning spray and I was at the very end of the bottle so I just dumped the rest in there and the scent was basil and I was like this is what I need to do more often I think I get like stuck on like I need a floor cleaner for the floor cleaner but you know who cares cleaner is cleaner so if I have like a little bit left of something I'm just gonna use it up just so I can get the bottle out of my house and as you can see, I am now cleaning the baseboards. After I finished wiping down those mirrors with some Windex, I'm now gonna be finally getting to the end of cleaning and vacuuming my room. It needed it so bad. You know how I love my vacuum lines, vacuum lines on fleek. Yes, yes. You know what? Let's create a hashtag. Hashtag vacuum lines on fleek. If you're over on Instagram, make sure that you tag me with the hashtag vacuum lines on fleek and we're gonna start a thing. This is a thing now. It's like becoming like an inside joke, but now I'm gonna turn it into a hashtag because why not? You know, we gotta make cleaning more fun. So I just wanted to remind you guys of how disgusting my room was and I wanted to show you the beginnings of how much I needed to clean when I first started this room and then I'm gonna do an after right here of everything after it's cleaned. So thanks so much again for joining me for another cleaning video and I'm gonna link a couple of fun videos right here so I'll have my morning routine and then I'm also going to link my spring cleaning routine and hopefully you guys will enjoy those videos. Make sure that you are subscribed. You can always click the little circle with my face on it that's going to pop up here at the very end and that way you can hang out with me again. I'll see you guys in the next video.